In this lecture, we're going to look at using the toggle input component inside of our Ionic applications. Within the Ion content, I'm going to add an Ion item. The Ion item will have a Ion label inside. That label will have the value of enabled. And we'll also have an Ion dash toggle. If we save our file, you can now see that we have this toggle on screen and we can select this either on or off. Inside of our home.ts, I'm going to create a variable named the toggle value and that will be a boolean equal to false. We can display the results of the toggle value and also add an ng model to our toggle. If we select our toggle, we go from being false to true and from true back to false. Perhaps we could display a particular message such as the toggle is enabled only when the user has selected the toggled value. So as you can see, we currently have no message but when we toggle the enabled box, we do then get the toggle is enabled. If we wanted to make the toggle disabled, we can say disabled. And you'll notice that we can no longer select the toggle. So that's an example of how we can use the toggle component inside of our Ionic applications.